Plants fend off pathogens and pests primarily through innate immune receptors that detect invading parasites and trigger a robust immune response. A team of scientists led by Ji Chai, Jin Min Zhou, and Hong Wang Wang has solved the structure of an NLR-type plant immune receptor and shown how the activation of this complex triggers immunity. We asked Professor Sophie Kamun and his colleagues at the Sainsbury Lab in Norwich, United Kingdom about this work. We knew there are resistosomes. We just didn't know what they looked like. This is truly a stunning and beautiful structure. When I first saw it, I think I had goosebumps. It was so exciting to see it. What's perhaps more exciting than the structure itself is the fact that they propose a new model, a totally new model for our field. They propose a sort of a death switch. This uh, switch basically flips out of the resistosome when it's activated and directly inserts itself in the membrane, possibly triggering cell death directly by causing pores and, and toxicity by perturbing the plant membrane. This model is very new and has many implications for the field of plant immunity. Let's find out what my lab members think about this. It is very exciting to finally um, get some insights into how plant immune receptors work. The question now is how applicable uh, that mechanism is to other plant immune receptors. For example, I work on immune receptors uh, that work in pairs and it would be really exciting to see if the same mechanism um, can be applied to proteins that I work with. As a structural biologist, it was a treat for me to see a long-awaited structure of a resistosome. For me, the mechanism, they discovered that the N-terminal portion of resistosome flips out and goes to plasma membrane is truly inspiring. In future, I would like to know how this translocation of a resistosome occurs to the plasma membrane and does this process require further cellular machinery. I'm really curious how the registrosome activates the plant immune signaling network because we know there are so many signaling pathways like kinase, transcriptional reprogramming, white hormone, so many things are activated during NLR immunity. So this is a very exciting time to consider the link between the Nobel registrosome model and the previous traditional signaling pathway model. Our dream is to design new resistance genes from scratch. Understanding how these immune receptors function, how they're activated, is a huge step forward in that direction. This study does that. It allows us to understand how these resistosomes are activated. And once we know how the system works, we'll be able to harness it for the benefit of agriculture. <laughs>